Hey beauty, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be partnering with Walmart again to bring you a huge Walmart beauty haul, which I am so excited for. I have a huge box here full of basically something from every department. I'm talking summer essentials, hair care, makeup, and even a fun little body care gadget that I'm so excited to share. Just in case you're new here, welcome. My name is Deandra and I love to share Walmart anything. <laughs> I'm a Walmart girly through and through. So if you are too, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below as well as turn on your bell notifications because I do plan on doing a follow-up kind of review and try on of a lot of these products. With that being said, let's go ahead and just get into today's beauty haul. Yeah. I'm gonna start with summer essentials because that's like the main thing I needed to restock on. And did you know that Walmart carries St. Tropez now? which they do also carry Bondi Sands. I love the Bondi Sands self-tan. That's what I used last year. But I basically got influenced to trying this brand just because I've never tried it. So many people talk about the Saint Tropez Advanced One Hour Tan. I do like to add a self-tan over my natural tan just because it smooths out any blemishes and just like all around gives me like an airbrushed look. I did need a re up on some sunscreen. I do buy the kids multi packs also from Walmart. I just picked them up with my weekly grocery order. But Josh and I have specific self tans that I like for us to use. I want to start with this Australian gold one first because it's actually an instant bronzer. It's a SPF 15. It is water resistant up to 80 minutes. The reason that I like this one though is because it does actually come out a bronze color. Josh is my little gringo. He tends to burn, which I don't like that he burns. It just does not look fun. So I've noticed that when I put the tan spray on him, he tends not to burn, probably just because he's got that color of layer. But you see how it's like running down my skin? It did actually tan. This is what I like to use. It is the Copper Tone Glow Shimmer 30 with a hint of shimmer. They do also have a lotion version, but I just find that this one's so much easier and quicker to get on. I have another glitter that I want to show you, but I just kind of want you to see maybe a little better. It's like gold little flex. I hope you can see it, but it's like the nicest light application of glitter on my skin. Not too dramatic. And I love that it's an SPF too. I personally love glittery, glowy skin in the summertime. So I was very excited when I found this hard candy all over body luminizer. I went with this one because it says it's transfer resistant skin glow. I like that this is more of like a very fine glitter so it's more like a shimmer I'm just gonna add a little bit more right here like isn't that so pretty i love it maybe i should put some on this side too just gonna use a brush so it doesn't get all over my shirt so pretty Love it. The next summer essential I knew I was gonna need was some facial sunscreen. I did go with this Milani Make It Last sunscreen. It has an SPF 30. It's a nice light mist. It doesn't take me long to like recover with my eyes because sometimes with some of these spray sunscreens, it burns for a second. It goes great over makeup. This one is gonna give like a little bit of moisture to your base layer. So if you want something to make your makeup last, I would go in with that one first and then the sunscreen over top. But so far, I've really been loving this. I was very excited to order this. I haven't tried it yet. It is by Hard Candy and it is the Sheer Envy Hydrating Primer Makeup Grip. This had one of the Allure Awards attached to it. Oh, it actually came out sticky. Look at that. 
Can you see that? Ooh, I'm very excited to try this now. Oh my gosh, I'm definitely going to have to make a follow up video on these products that I got. But yeah, this was Allure approved. So that speaks for itself. I want to share this e.l.f. Camo CC cream because I love this in the summertime. It's perfect for full face heavy makeup, but it's also great for just day-to-day -day light makeup. I'm actually wearing it as my foundation today. I am also wearing these two products by e.l.f. This is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Beauty Wand Contour. I went ahead and grabbed it in the Tan Deep, and I feel like it is a really nice little contour color. It's easy for me to blend out, but it also has a lot of staying power. And then for my blush, I used the e.l.f. Camo Liquid Blush. This is the color Coral Crush. I really love this, but it did come in so many other color options. It has a really nice little dot style applicator. I do appreciate that this one has a lot of pigment, but it's easy to work with and it doesn't get too overbearing if I don't want it to. I need to try out more colors. I am also wearing this Milani Conceal Imperfect Long Wear Concealer. I love this. It's a full coverage concealer. It dries down really nicely. It doesn't give me a lot of creasing. It's nice and brightening. I actually feel like this color is a little bit light for me right now. It is the light natural color, but I've been using this for a long time and I really love it. I guess I should have mentioned in my intro that some of these items are new to me and others I've been trying out for a while. I did want to share some items that I already kind of knew how they were going to work because I don't want to recommend something that I don't like. But anyways, speaking of another item I've been trying for a while, this is the Maybelline Master Contour Face Contouring Kit. I went with the color 20 Medium to Deep and I'm actually wearing it today as well. I just layered it over the cream colors and I know that this is more pinky. I really like the mix of the to right now and I like the highlight. The contour is really nice. It sets everything and blends everything. I also like that this is in a contour palette style so I don't have a million different containers in my makeup bag. I actually have quite a few lip products. I do want to talk about this Wet n Wild lipstick first because it is my favorite lipstick and it's only two dollars. I have multiples of these in all of those handbags. It really is just the perfect like pinky nude to mix with any lip liner. Today I mixed it with this super warm NYX color. This is the NYX Line Out Loud in Tolo total baller which it's a nice warm color but i've also mixed it with more mauvey colors even like dark brown more coffee colors and it just is so good it's a matte finish and it does actually last quite a while it also doesn't dry out my lips i'm just gonna put some over my lip gloss here and it's just so pretty i love it so much. I went with this Milani lip liner. This is the color Saucy Toffee. That's pretty. And I feel like it'll look really pretty with the lipstick that I got today. I did come across these at Profusion Lip Dazzlers. These are dual ended lipsticks and lip toppers. I love that this is a lipstick and lip gloss combo. Got them out of their packaging and I haven't swatched these yet. So I want to do the nude one first. This is called Divine. There's the lipstick. I think that'll be really pretty with that lip liner. And it's nice and creamy too. These glosses look really glittery actually. I'm a glitter girly so I don't mind that. Look how pretty that is mixed together and then I'll swatch it on its own. So that's mixed together with the lip gloss and the lipstick, and then that's the gloss on its own. Ooh, that's pretty too. 
I thought it was gonna be darker, but I'm actually very happy with that color. This is magnificent, and I really like this lip gloss. So there's the swatch on its own on the bottom. That's it mixed together. Look at that. So pretty mixed together. I feel like that lip liner will look pretty with both of those colors there. I'm thinking I'm gonna go back for the other colors now. They were so affordable and look how gorgeous. This Skin Gym Sculpt Body Massage Tool. It has a suede feeling little pouch that it comes with. Let me show you the actual tool. It's basically just like a gua sha for your body, which I love because this is a tightening cream so I can apply this and then as it's absorbing into my skin I can use it to massage my legs and I was also thinking about using it to massage right here basically what this is gonna do is just help with all the drainage and you know help tighten your skin and your muscles basically the same idea as gua sha for your jawline and your contour line in the package it does actually have a instruction manual i am so excited for this y'all even without the vanity benefits it's just nice and relaxing to have like a full body massage so i'll probably add this to my nighttime routine hopefully i get better sleep with these kids though I don't know about that. I guess this would be considered body care. It is a dossier, dossier? How do you say that? I don't really know, but these have gone viral on social media for being affordable options to your favorite perfume, which I ended up getting the Floral Honeysuckle. It has top notes of green leaves, orange honeysuckle, middle notes of jasmine, sambac, tuberose, base notes of orris, sandalwood, and vanilla, which that sounds like the most summery floral fragrance. Very similar to a Gucci one that I already have. They even had the one that's supposed to smell similar to the Baccarat Rouge. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. I'm gonna love this for the summertime. I'm excited to keep using this and give y'all a review on how it wears. Now let's move into hair care because I did need a restock of this Kristen S Blow Dry Mist. I'm sure I've mentioned this on my channel before, but I absolutely Absolutely love it and it does actually work it is split and smoothing shine enhancing it cuts drying time and it is a heat protectant up to 450 degrees Fahrenheit I use it every single time I blow dry my hair and then I did also end up getting the Kristen s dry finish working texture spray I love me some textured big messy lived-in hair this says that it is texture building instantly volumizing ultra light hold and a soft matte finish it's kind of like a powdery feel it smells amazing i came across this heritage magic dust texturizing powder is sulfate free phthalate free paraben free silicone free gluten free mineral oil free color safe cruelty free and vegan i have tried a hair mask from this brand and i really did like it so i wanted to try some more of their products this does come out in like a shaker bottle style i guess i could kind of use a little right in here where my hair is not really doing what i want it to it's just gonna give your hair like a little bit of grit and lots of texture so that it adds a ton of volume see that how it just helped it really stand up and stay in place my hair is going to be so texturized after this video i did also go ahead and grabbed the heritage lazy day dry shampoo i have been using one that i feel like is just kind of expensive so i wanted to try this one again it's sulfate free philosophy Athlete free, paraben free, silicone free, gluten free, aluminum free, mineral oil free, cruelty free, color safe, and vegan. Ooh, that smells like powdery fresh. Ooh, it even gave my hair volume on this side, like 
Look at this side, it's down flat. This side, nice volume. I'm pumped for this haul, honestly. So many fun things to try. Which, speaking of, I'm so excited to try these Remington Shine Therapy Hot Rollers. I did want something that's gonna curl and style my hair quickly and easy, and I feel like a hot roller is the way to go. I've tried overnight curls, and I'm just like not an overnight curls kind of girl. I'm excited to try these, and I feel like it is a good alternative because the heat isn't as hot as a curling iron. It says that this one is a shine therapy with argan oil and keratin. It says shiny curls in five minutes. Here's what it actually looks like. You just just pull this open to get the curlers out. Here are the two sizes of rollers. So I would say this is probably about an inch and this is probably about like an inch and a quarter. It's got a nice velvety thing right here. And then here is the clip that you attach. Keep an eye out for a video where I try these out for the first time. I did notice that they have the mermaid wavers on Walmart as well. This is what I use to wave my hair. I've had this specific one for a couple of years now and I love it. It's like my go-to summertime hairstyle. I love that it's pink. Totally recommend. Really good quality. That's going to bring us to the end of today's video. I really hope that you had fun hanging out with me, talking all the girly beauty things. If you did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below below as well as bell notifications because I do plan on updating you on all of the products that I've tried to let you know if they were hits or misses. I will go ahead and link everything that I shared today in the description box so don't forget to check that out down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye.